Here's the AC hookup to the uh, AC motor right here. Two wires, red, red and yellow. One wire goes directly to the output of the uh, variac, which is plugged in, going to be plugged into the grid. And then the other wire, I have this AC cap, 88 UF, great big one, in uh, series on one of the lines, and I couldn't get it to work unless I did this. And I put that, hear that hum? Because it's working like a generator, I don't have it plugged in, I put that hum in. And now I've plugged in the variac right here, this white cord. I'm making about 76, 77 volts AC from the variac after I tune down the voltage with it. Okay, now I got the AC motor running. It's got a rotor like this inside of there. Here's the AC motor. And between these two scatter plates is uh, one of these two inch wide neodymium magnet rotors, four of them in a rotor, north, south, north, south. Over here I got a voltmeter and an amp meter measuring the power going into the AC motor. Right now I have both the rotoverter motor behind it running off the grid and I also have this running off the grid at the same time. And this is on the shaft of the rotoverter motor, this AC motor in front. Okay, now I'm going to just disconnect the AC motor here and you can hear it work like a generator. Now it's a generator. Now it's a motor. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect the rotoverter motor so it runs only this part of it. The AC motor part is drawing from the grid now. And uh, we're running on 50 volts and 1.1 amp at this point. So I just disconnected the rotoverter motor. It's still drawing about the same. Still drawing about the same even with it disconnected. Okay, so we're drawing about 50 watts right now. I'm going to watch this uh, over here on the right, the two meters. The one on the left is the amperage. Okay, I'm going to rub this rotor with a stick. Not too hard because I can stall it, but just somewhat. Notice that it actually goes down. Well, there I stalled it. Okay, when I stall it, I got to plug the rotor motor, motor back in. Plug in the start cap. Get it back up to sine wave speed of 1800 RPM. Disconnect the start cap. Disconnect the rotor motor, motor. Okay, now we're back to where we were. Now, I'll give this uh, not too much of it, but you know, if any of you work with rotoverters, when you rub a stick on that shaft, it, you can see the amps go up quick. And so, right now, it's like to a point, the amperage is not affected. In fact, it goes down a little bit by any shaft drag. That's not much. So right now I'm running on 50 volts and 1.1 amp. Uh, it's just the AC motors plugged into the grid right now. It's going through a variac to cut that down to 50 volts from 120. And I also have that 88 UF cap in series on one of the legs going to the motor. Here's the motor. Now we're going to Pull around with the voltage with this variac back here. 
Zoom out. You can probably still see the voltage fairly good. I'm going to cut the voltage down a little bit to 50. I'm going to cut it down to 49. One amp, 1.06. Cut it down to 46. Now it's only 0.98 amps. You can see the uh, amps follows the voltage. When you have less voltage, you have less amperage input. So now it's 0.945 volts. This is, I won't be able to go too much lower than this. So right now I'm just seeing what the very minimum draw I can get to this is. 44 and 0.89 cut it down to 42 there and it's stalling there it's stall so that's about there it's stall so that's about as far as I down as I can go say 42 43 volts okay when it stalls you plug the rotoverter motor back in Plug in the start cap. Get it back up to 1800 RPM. Take the start cap off. Pull out the plug. You pull out the plug while the start cap's in, you're, it'll just chonk. It'll just break all of a sudden. It's a magnetic breaking. Okay, now I shot it up to 54 volts. Let's bring it up to...